Hey you all, it's Ashley with Fleet Feet and today I'm reviewing the brand new Saucony Ride 13. All right everyone, this tried and true trainer has some key updates that we really think you're gonna love. This new version has an updated fit, a revamped midsole, and a refreshed upper. Okay, before we get into any specifics about this review, let's first take a look at the specs. The Saucony Ride 13 weighs in at 8.6 ounces for a women's sample size and 9.7 ounces for the men's sample size. It has an eight millimeter heel to toe drop, the midsole is comprised of Saucony's PWR Run, and we will get into more information about that here in a bit. It's a neutral everyday trainer that is best for the road or the track. Let's talk about the fit and materials. Like other Saucony shoes, the Ride 13 does offer a very accommodating fit for a wide variety of foot shapes. In addition to the standard model, the Ride 13 comes in a wide. So when you put this shoe on, you're going to first notice how roomy the toe box is, that it's actually pretty roomy all the way through, so including the midfoot. And you'll find some cushion around the heel collar, all the way around the ankle, and even the tongue offers some flush cushioning. The next thing you notice when you go to lace up this shoe, you'll see the tubular stretchy laces. These laces are pretty signature to Saucony's training shoes, and we really like them because not only are they silky smooth, so they're easy to lace up and pull through the lace holes, that little bit of extra stretch helps to customize the fit around the midfoot here. If you have a really narrow heel, it's possible you'll experience some slippage when running in this shoe. However, all of our testers who do have narrow heels employed the Marathon Lacing Loop. You can use that extra eyelet here, and they had no problems after that. Also, the upper of the shoe is made with one solid piece. It's light and breathable and stretchy. It's flexible and easy to mold, especially when combined with the tubular laces. So our testers found that it helps to customize the fit even further. Let's talk about the cushion. So Saucony's new PWR run midsole is soft and responsive. So while you're gonna feel that plush cushion with each step, you're also going to notice that it's firmer and bouncier than the last model of the ride. This doesn't take away from the softness of this shoe, and we're gonna get into that next. So if we're gonna compare the cushioning in the Ride 13 to other Saucony models, we'd say that it falls somewhere between the Featherlight Racing Cushion of Saucony's Kinvara 11 and the really plush Saucony Triumph 17. And this is something that our testers unanimously agreed upon, that with every step, you feel that plush cushioning and the responsiveness. It also has a really nice balance of flexibility and stiffness. You can see with bending the shoe how flexible it really is, especially along this midfoot area, so that you can have a nice smooth transition from landing on your heel to going into your toe off. And that's a feature that makes this a truly accessible trainer for daily use, whether it's for easy recovery miles or for fartlek tempo speed type miles. So what's changed? You may notice that this Saucony 13 does not have ISO written in the model name, and here's why. Along with many other shoes in the line, Saucony is transitioning away from the ISO model. If you're not familiar with ISO, it was sort of this cage-like thing that went around the midfoot as a way to enhance the fit. Saucony since removed that and transitioned away from ISO and instead started implementing a fit system called a full form fit system. This updated fit system uses three layers of cushioning to create a more bucket seat-like feeling that naturally cradles your foot and adapts to your weight and foot shape. This updated model also has a different midsole. So Saucony swapped out the PWR foam midsole for a new PWR run foam. And that new foam is something we credit for that really nice plush yet firm transition. And from personal experience, I won't speak for everyone here, but I have had trouble with the ride in the past. For some reason, my forefoot often goes to sleep in the shoe and I don't have a particularly wide foot, so I found that somewhat strange. But this version of the ride, I have been wearing quite a bit and really enjoying. There's something about the foam that just works. So I know I am personally really excited that they made this transition and we've heard from a lot of our testers that the new foam is awesome. On top of everything, that eight millimeter heel to toe differential, it's kind of right down in the middle between a traditional running shoe and a more minimal running shoe, which also adds to that smooth transition from each step, which according to our testers also helps with the ride of the ride. So in conclusion, the brand new Saucony Ride 13 is an accessible trainer that's a good fit for a lot of different types of feet. Again, like I said at the beginning of this review, it does come in a wide. 
The new PWR run midsole provides a cushy yet responsive performance. And finally, this shoe is an excellent update to the ride series that we recommend. <laughs>